update. My 37 male, wife's 34 female, sister 29 female. Try to kiss me and now my wife is spiraling. Help me. Original post. As the title says, my wife's sister made a pass at me at a recent family gathering, and I have no idea what to do. For context, I think my wife Jenna's absolutely gorgeous, but she has some really negative body image issues. This is in large part because of her sister Mary, who is very conventionally attractive, as opposed to Jenna's more unconventional but, in my opinion, striking beauty. Mary was a successful model until a couple years ago, and now works in the fashion industry. In our early days of dating when I would tell Jenna she's beautiful, she would always say, just wait until you see my sister. When I did finally meet her family, she would randomly press me for weeks to talk about her sister, whether I thought she was more attractive than her, etc. I always told her the truth, that I think Mary's attractive in a boring way and that I think my wife is much more beautiful and interesting to look at. She wouldn't let it go, until I confronted her about how uncomfortable it made me and ask her what was going on. This is when she told me that she always had a chip on her shoulder about her looks because of being compared with her sister growing up. They fell into the classic smart one slash pretty one dynamic their whole lives. She also said Mary had a habit of being flirty with all of her exes and warned me that it would happen to me eventually. She then started sobbing and begging me to not cheat on her with her sister, to which I forcefully said I would never cheat on her with anyone, let alone with her sister. I've been crazy about my wife since day one, and there's literally no woman on earth who could come close to her. I honestly didn't believe her about the flirting at first. I assumed it was just an extension of her insecurity, but I was wrong. Whenever we get together with my wife's family, Mary always finds ways to touch me and make little innuendo slash comments about me or my body. It's super uncomfortable for everyone, especially my wife, that I've called her out on it before. She'll cool it for a while but eventually start doing it again. It's been six years of this, and every time it happens, my wife is upset for days that I have to do a lot of reassuring. On to the current problem. A few days ago, we were at my mother-in-law's birthday party and Mary asked me to help her grab some things from the garage. As soon as we walked into the garage, she turned and pressed me up against the door with her whole body and started trying to kiss me. I immediately pushed her off and asked her what the heck she was doing. She started giggling and saying she was just doing what we both have been thinking and kept insisting, you know you want to. I told her she was out of her mind and ran out of there and went straight to my wife and told her we were leaving. The whole ride home, she was asking me what was wrong. I wasn't sure whether to tell her because I knew how much it was going to hurt, but I also thought Mary would probably try to spin it as me making a move on her. So I knew I had to just say it. So I told her everything and she cried the whole way home. For the last several days, Mary has been calling and texting my wife doing exactly what I thought she would do, even telling my wife that I said she, Mary, was the hottest girl I've ever seen which I had to reassure my wife a million times that I did not and would never say that, even though she believes my account of the situation. She's been a complete wreck the last several days. She's hardly eating, and she pulls away from my touch when I try to hug her or just hold her hand. She says she feels hideous and disgusting, and I don't know what to do. This is the lowest I have ever seen her, and it hurts to see how much she's hurting. I have no idea what to do to help her heal from this. Guys, what should I do? Now for the top advice before reading the update. All family gatherings that include Mary must now be non-attendable. Your wife knows what an awful woman her sister is, and hopefully the rest of the family does too. To be honest, your wife's sister is evil. You have reassured your wife of your love and faithfulness. Your wife is incredibly insecure about herself, so obviously a professional may be in order for her and yourself to talk to. You love your wife, so stand by her and be there for support. My in-laws definitely enable her behavior. She's the golden child. They brag about her constantly, even though my wife is literally a neuroscientist. Their mom was a pageant queen and she was their dad's much younger trophy wife. Honestly, we may have to go no contact with all of them. Absolutely. Their daughter assaulted you. That is an insane violation. The disrespect to both you and your lovely wife is off the charts. If her family doesn't see that, then it's time to throw them all away. You are a good husband. Keep having her back. You may have to be the one to finally push her to go no contact. It's for the best for both of your mental health. Good luck. Straight up tell your wife that your sister-in-law is a rotten, festering, soulless critten on the inside, so it matters not her physical features. 
Also, your wife needs to know contact her dumb witch sister, probably years ago. She needs to block her number and go to therapy because her sister has been abusing her for years. This instance was merely the final chip on an already very, very cracked face. It is shattered, and you do not have the glue she needs. A professional will. If you haven't, explain the situation in detail. Leave nothing out. Ask her why you would have immediately left if you were actually interested in her sister. Remind her this is her sister's MO, so she cannot be trusted. Her sister has some freaky jealousy of your wife. Maybe her intelligence or very striking beauty? No loving, caring sister repeatedly chases their sister's exes. She is so gross. Someone should tell her she is so, so gross. Because she needs to know how nasty she's acting. But for real, get your wife to a therapist because Mary has messed her up with Mary's crappy behavior. So gross. So, so gross. Who heck wants D that's been in another family member? What the heck is wrong with Mary? Tell your wife that you're getting a restraining order against her sister for harassing you. That ugly POS is an absolute narcissist who thinks she's entitled to the world because of her looks. I might try to do this. A friend of mine pointed out that what she did was literal assault. I don't know how restraining orders work, though. Will they actually do anything if it's just my word against hers? And now for the update. I got a few requests for updates, so here it is. I first want to thank everyone so much for your advice. It was extremely helpful and gave me a lot to think about. I'm especially thankful for the folks that asked me how I was doing. I realized that I have literally never had a chance to check in with myself after these things happen, and I've actually been holding a lot of frustration and resentment about it all. I've been harassed for years, and it has either been brushed off or it's been eclipsed by the impact it has on my wife. I don't blame her for it, but this has been a good lesson in me not burying my feelings for the sake of others, even for her. I also want to clarify a couple of things that came up. Several people ask about how my wife's family feel about all this, and I explained in a comment that her parents are toxic and treat Mary as the golden child, even though my wife is a freaking neuroscientist, amazingly talented musician, speaks three languages fluently and another two conversationally. My wife and her family are seriously the only people who don't seem to understand how exceptional she is. I remember meeting one of my wife's family friends and talking to them about her research, and they said, Oh, wow. Her parents just told us she works at a university. Whereas my parents literally introduced her as the family genius to everyone. It makes me so freaking angry to think about how her a-hole family has stolen her shine her whole life. She's literally a renaissance woman, but all they care about is looks and money. Some folks ask me why I would ever put myself in a situation alone with Mary, given everything she's done. I have no good answers for that, other than I never thought she would actually try to do anything. That possibility just didn't exist in my head. I realize now that I should have seen this would happen eventually, and that I should have been less concerned with keeping the peace, and more concerned about shutting Mary's nonsense down before it escalated to this point. Hindsight is 2020. Anyway, on to the update. The night I posted, I told my wife that if she wanted to try to repair her relationship with her sister, I would respect that but that I don't feel comfortable being around her for the foreseeable future. I said Mary has obviously been deeply jealous of my wife her whole life, because she is a hollow, ugly person, whose entire value has an expiration date, while my wife actually has substance. I said that I think her whole family is toxic, and has done nothing but put her down her whole life, but that only she can decide whether she still wants them in her life. I also told my wife that while I don't blame her for her emotional reaction, her insecurity is something that she needs to work on for our relationship to be healthy. What Mary did was assault, and she's been harassing me like that for years. But I have consistently put aside my own feelings about this problem because of how it affects her, and that has prevented me from getting the support that I need to. I told her that her reaction only serves to punish herself and me for her sister's behavior, and there's no reason to give her that kind of power. I also told her something that a commenter said that really resonated with me, that the only people who have ever considered her second best are her and her family. Everyone else sees her for who she really is. She was crying the whole time and agreed that she needed to go to therapy to work on her insecurity. We were able to find a therapist who specializes in body image slash self-esteem issues to work with her individually, and we're looking for a couples therapist too. My wife sent a message to her parents and sister that explained exactly what happened and told them she would reach out to them if she ever feels ready to repair their relationship. 
We blocked all of them everywhere, but Mary has of course been spamming my family and our friends with nonsense, claiming I attacked her, I'm a drug addict, I mistreat my wife, all kinds of BS that thankfully nobody believes. My wife is still down in the dumps, but I can see that things are getting a little better. She's eating and sleeping more and she's cuddling with me in the mornings again, which is nice. Now, I'm planning a surprise getaway for us this weekend. We're going to one of our favorite places, and I'm going to wine and dine her and try to make her feel like the goddamn queen she is. I want to thank you all again for your help. You really helped me understand the severity of the problem. And again, thanks for helping me connect with my own feelings about all this. Y'all are the best. Mary has of course been spamming my family and our friends with nonsense, claiming I attacked her, I'm a drug addict, I mistreat my wife, all kinds of BS that thankfully nobody believes. I have a suggestion. Even though no one believes what Mary has been saying, it could be helpful for you and your wife in the long run to hire an attorney now, to send a strongly worded cease and desist letter to Mary. If Mary's been sending texts and voicemails to your family and friends, then you have some evidence of slander and libel. Shutting her actions down hard now could prevent her from escalating her actions in the future, just like she did in the past, where she tried to test and push her boundaries which then escalated to her doing what she did. Yes, exactly this. Don't give them any ground to stand on. You and your wife need to stamp this out right now and build a boundary. She has proven she has zero boundaries, and you need to establish yours or she will slowly over time push further and further back into your lives in an unhealthy manner. Think of it like this. She keeps pestering. One day, your wife is either feeling particularly weak or strong and thinks she either should or can now open up that relationship again. Now your wife and her sister go back and forth and rebuild without you being aware. One day, you come home and find Mary sitting on your couch and your wife starts pleading to hear her out. I can't tell you how many posts I have read that are exactly this. Do it now while the feeling is strong. You're an absolute legend. She's found herself another genius who knows how to navigate life without infantile drama. I wish you both nothing but the absolute best. The only genius thing I've ever done is marry her. I'm a pretty average dude to be honest, so I have no idea how I snagged her. Sad to think, her low self-esteem probably played a part but I do work hard to be a good husband every day. She chose you because you're worth it, my guy. The way you speak about her makes it plain you're the king to her queen. Reign together and extricate yourselves from the ill-wishers. Last story. My male 27, girlfriend female 21, still being friends with someone female 22, who ruined our son's birth experience, doesn't sit right with me. My son is 6 weeks old and being a father has been great, but actually becoming a father was hell, and it was all because of her best friend. My girlfriend has been best friends with her since middle school, so I understand a close bond, but this is someone that has been toxic time and time again. Ever since I've been dating my girlfriend, she has not liked me, not to mention she is a toxic person. It only got worse when my girlfriend got pregnant, and two weeks before our son was born, I told my girlfriend how I felt about her best friend, and my girlfriend told her best friend. I didn't mind she told her because I had valid points in how I felt, but it's what her best friend did after that is mind-boggling. Literally three days before my son was born, her best friend accused me of cheating, all because I went to a club. Now, I don't go clubbing as often as I used to, but this time I was not in the club to party. When I left the house, I told my girlfriend that I was going to the store and I did that. But then I received a call from my friend that he lost his wallet at a club, so I went to go help him look for it. I didn't even know she saw me there, because I think I stayed there for 15 to 20 minutes. We ended up finding the wallet and I went home. Next morning, my girlfriend wakes me up showing me text messages from her best friend with pictures that I was at a club and text messages accusing me of kissing other girls, leaving with one, being dishonest, etc. I've never been more flabbergasted. Girlfriend goes into labor and I was one of her support people, but you could just tell she was disgusted with me and it was an awful feeling. Her friend even has the audacity to tell the nurses and doctors that I cheated. Although a beautiful experience, it was ruined due to someone's pettiness. Then about a week later, her friend admitted to lying and my girlfriend dropped her, but now they're friends again. This is someone who has slandered my name time after time. It hurts me even if it means hurting her own best friend. I feel very uncomfortable with the fact that they are friends again, after everything that happened, and I'm thinking about what I want to do. I would have a hard time dealing with that myself. About a week later, her friend admitted to lying and my girlfriend dropped her, but now they are friends again. This is someone who made an attempt to sabotage your marriage. 
throwing baseless cheating accusations for the sole purpose to disrupt your relationship. I say marriage because you two are practically at this point. Not only did it jeopardize your relationship, but it also jeopardized your child's potential of having a two-parent home. That poor kid, robbed of a healthier family upbringing because of a reckless person due to a lie. I am really bothered by this the more I think about it. I don't understand how your girlfriend can just accept this with no consequences for her friend. Anyone who made an attempt to break my marriage and risk my child's potential for a better life, they're cut off without hesitation. Because she says they've been friends for 10 years, and she's like her sister and all this other stuff. I don't get it. She's happy to have a close relationship with someone who would treat her so badly without a second thought? Friend is obviously jealous of your relationship. It's surprising me too. I'm not trying to be a prick, but I'm assuming you started dating your girlfriend when she was like 18-19, unless you got her pregnant right away. I'm not surprised she's immature. She's fresh out of high school with little adult experiences. I highly doubt this situation gets better. She was 20 when we started dating. I'm not accusing her of being immature. I'm just saying that I wish she would realize that her friend does really shady stuff that true friends wouldn't do. This isn't the only instance where her friend has done anything like this. I just thought that this time she'd truly see what her friend is about. I personally could never become friends with someone that ruins what is supposed to be one of the best days of my life. Imagine you're nine months pregnant and you find out your boyfriend is cheating on you. That has to be one of the crappiest feelings in the world. She saw how my girlfriend was literally crying from that on the delivery bed when we were talking about me cheating, but still chose not to say anything until she was caught in a lie. It actually makes me sick talking about it. All I'm saying is that just because you are friends with someone for a long time does not mean they have your best interest in mind. 